There are many haunted locations throughout Saskatchewan. These are some of the most haunted churches that we have investigated or have heard about on the internet. We'll be counting down the top 5 haunted churches in Saskatchewan. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, let's dive right in. Number 5. Back of our church. The back of our church is a Hungarian church built back in 1911-1912. It is a municipal heritage property located within the rural Hazelwood, approximately 9 kilometers southeast of the town of Kipling. The church is supposed to be haunted by a priest that is said to have hung himself. He is said to be very protective of the church. Some visitors have even reported an aggressive force pushing people out of the church. Could this be the priest forcing people out of the church? Other witnesses have witnessed the bell towers ring even though the bells have been moved to another location in Kipling. Number 4 St. Hubert Church and Cemetery The St. Hubert Church and Cemetery is a municipal heritage property located within 17 kilometers southwest of the town of Whitewood. The property features a one-story church built in 1935 and a cemetery established in 1903. The St. Hubert Church had a paranormal investigation team spend the night and they witnessed many times their equipment dying and unexplained footsteps walking throughout the church. We actually investigated the St. Hubert Church and witnessed the same footsteps walking toward us. Oh my god. Do you want to go in? No. Hello? You hear that? I thought that was you. No. It sounded like someone walking up to us. Yeah. Number 3. St. Nicholas Canal Church The Canal Anglican Church, located 10 kilometers northeast of the village of Craven, situated in the Coppell Valley at the base of the south slope of the property, features a single-story rectangular wood frame church an adjacent graveyard on the north and west sides of the property. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any first-hand claims of the paranormal encounters. That doesn't mean it's not haunted. There's just no first-hand claims on the internet. Number 2. Tommy Douglas Performing Arts Center the Tommy Douglas Performing Arts Center was once the Calvary Baptist Church. It was constructed in 1906 and was moved on top of Signal Hills in 1985. There are no reported deaths at the Calvary Baptist Church, but when the church was moved on top of Signal Hills is when the activity began. Around the year 1910, when Weyburn's Water Tower was constructed, which is located right next to the Tommy Douglas Center, three bodies were found underneath where the water tower sits. It is believed that Signal Hills is in burial ground, and that is what contributes to the hauntings at the Tommy Douglas Performing Arts Center. Some eyewitness accounts have been captured by us. We have captured footsteps running down the stairs at us. What the f That was like in the staircase, man. Did you hear that? On many occasions, we have captured voices, footsteps, and we have even heard our own names come through the spirit box. Wait, would you? Literally. 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 What does it say? This is some name. Is that what it said? I'm pretty sure it said that. Uh, I think it said Nathan as well, actually. This location will always be our most terrifying location we have ever investigated. Number 1. St. Paul's Anglican Church Located along Highway 9 south of Langbank is a roadside shrine that has drawn attention since it first opened in 1938. The church's construction is inspired by a 12th century Norman design. Even though there are no first-hand witnesses at this church, we have investigated this church and have captured some strange yet interesting children's voices come through our spirit box and other very interesting things. I'll leave a link to this video down below and you can see what we captured. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and we'll see you all in the next one.